Welcome to the Emergency Department at Northeast Georgia Medical Center, Gainesville. I'm Corey Duncan, and I'm the Medical Director of the Emergency Department here, and one of the physicians who cares for patients in our Emergency Department. Today, I'd like to show you what to expect if you have an emergency and need to visit us. First, if you think you need immediate assistance and can't make the drive to the hospital, please call 911. If your situation isn't life-threatening, have family bring you and we'll meet you at the door. Your family member can check our visitation guidelines at nghs.com backslash visitation to see if visitors are currently allowed in our facilities. If visitors aren't allowed at the time, they may need to wait in the car or return home until you're ready for discharge, but our staff will be more than happy to keep them up to date on your condition while you're with us. So let's go inside and I'll show you around. This is our emergency department waiting room, and today we're pretty busy. You'll check in here and a triage nurse will get all of your information so we can be sure you get immediate care if your situation is urgent. Of course, we want everyone to get care as quickly as possible. Depending on how many other patients are here and your condition when you arrive, your treatment might actually start here in the waiting room. Once you're comfortable and we've run any tests that might be needed, we'll talk with you about whether you need to be admitted or you'll be able to return home. If you need to be admitted, you might actually have to wait here in the emergency department until a bed is available on one of our medical units upstairs, but we'll continue your evaluation and treatment here in the emergency department until your room is ready. I'm Elizabeth Larkins, Executive Director for Medical Nursing here at Northeast Georgia Health System. I'm standing in one of the COVID dedicated units on our Gainesville campus. Once the emergency department doctor feels it's time for you to be admitted, we're gonna start getting a room ready for you. In the event that there is no room available, we will bring you up to a location in the hallway, and that's really so that we can get your care started as soon as possible. And now I wanna show you one of our empty COVID prepared rooms. I'm standing here in one of our patient rooms that's ready to receive a COVID-19 patient. You can see behind me the negative pressure machine. This machine is designed to pull all of the virus out of the air and vent it out the window. This is to prevent the spread of COVID-19 from patients who are sick with it. The machine is loud. It also removes all of the air conditioning from the room. So it's quite hot in these patient rooms and our patients are sometimes uncomfortable from the heat. We do everything that we can to keep them comfortable, but it's one of our struggles during this difficult time. It's also a struggle for our patients that they see so little of their caregivers' faces. Everyone who comes in the room has on an N95, a surgical mask, a face shield, and a full gown. And it's only really through our eyes that we can connect with the patients in the bed. Um, these are just some of the realities that we're dealing with right now. Hello, I'm Dr. Agarwal, and I'm the Chief of Medical Staff for Northeast Georgia Medical Center. I also provide nephrology care for patients here in our hospital. If your illness is severe and need a higher level of care, we have both intermediate medical care units and intensive care units just like this one. We hope you won't need it, but you can be confident our specialists and highly skilled nurses will be ready if you do need more care. I also want to take a moment to share with your family members how important their involvement is in your care. We never like restricting visitation, but it is necessary when we have widespread COVID in our communities and high numbers of COVID patients in our care. If your loved ones cannot be here at your bedside, we want to keep them updated on our treatments and your progress towards recovery. Our nurses and physicians will try to speak with your family by phone at least once a day and may sometimes reach out more often than that. Please understand that if the number of patients in our care is high, we may not have enough time to call them as often as we like. Please also know that we have a spiritual care team and a patient experience team who are standing by to help when needed. We have chaplains, who support those of every faith and those who are uncomfortable with religious beliefs. And they are available for both patients and families 24 hours a day. Just let your nurse know and we will help arrange a visit or a phone call. Our patient experience team is available to help with any concerns 
or patient advocacy needs, and they can schedule a time to use one of our tablets so family members can have FaceTime with you. We hope you will get the vaccine so you have got the best chance of avoiding a hospital stay due to COVID. But if you need us, please get tested early, take care of yourself at home, and don't delay coming if you need our help. That's why we are all here for you.